All right, according to Shams on Twitter, I put the uh, tweet on the screen. He says that the NBA is basically ready to have fans when it tips off for the 2020-21 season. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And does it surprise me? Absolutely not. You know, you got to get this money straight up and down. And um, they plan to have 25 to 50% of fans in their suites. So they have fans in the suites and they expect some a low capacity uh, crowd in arenas with social distancing, masks, and all that good stuff, and gloves, and all that, and, um, yeah, let's talk about it, share the video, check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this, and don't forget, check out our good fellow Sports TV 2.0, I'll be going live over there, NBA, everything else too, so make sure you hit the subscribe button over there, because we can't go live over here, so, if you want to see the mock draft, go over there, but, um, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, money, money, you know, money is the, is the root of all evil, and money is the biggest motivator, out here for the NBA, and I can't blame them, so they're not doing the bubble again, they're going to have uh, players going around the United States playing from New York to Jersey, possibly the Toronto Raptors in Jersey. So a lot of people didn't know that. Kansas City, Toronto, Tampa are a few spots that Toronto Raptors may play because Canada is going on a ban. So teams can't, people and teams can't come in and out of the state, out of the country. So Kansas City, Tampa, New Jersey, maybe another place are looking at a host of Toronto Raptors until Canada lifts its ban. So um, can't blame them. Got to get this money. Um you know, and then the NBA, you know, you won't have an asterisk on this season. You know, you'll have some fans. By the NBA Finals, you may have a situation where you might have full arenas. You know, I heard they talked during the COVID vaccine, and, you know, it really ain't progressing like they thought it would. So, um, UK shut back down Wednesday, and I don't think the United States plan on shutting down. Um, Joe Biden said he'll shut it down if you win again. And at this point, small businesses can't survive. And businesses in general, you see AMC was struggling, survive with, you know, not having, you know, patrons coming today, you know, restaurant or place of business. But um, I don't blame the NBA. You got to get your money. You know, you got to make your ends. And you want to give a real fan experience. Now, the NBA PA, one of their female representatives said that they wanted to do two. Uh, they might need to do a bubble again. And I don't think players want to sit in a bubble for 72 games. You know, now you have issues with, with flying and people having the COVID and all this. So they got to be prepared for protocols. And I'm pretty sure... The protocols will be in place by the time they reach an agreement on the CBA. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the Raptors. It'll be interesting if they stick to this plan and have fans and they just can't miss out on that revenue. You know, so you'll be able to go to a basketball game. And I think a lot of people are going to go. A lot of people have been going to the National Football League games. You know, I know the Lions, they're planning to have fans pretty soon. I think by Thanksgiving, they're going to have fans. And it's just, you know, money that people, they need that money. And they, they now know how important the fans are. So, would I go to an NBA game? Absolutely. You know, I don't want to sit high in the rafters, though. Because at Little Caesars, I've been, I was in the gondola for the big three, you know. Um, it's high up, you know. But, uh, yeah, I want a nice little seat. You got a social distance. My whole thing, if I come with three people, we should be able to sit next to each other without social distancing. But I want to know how, to, how you go in the concourse with the restaurants and the, the shops and stuff. Because it's hard, you know. Bathrooms and all that. But I guess that's why they cut the capacity off so the bathrooms won't be as full. You won't be all stuck in, stuck in line at the pizza and the hot dog and the popcorn vendors. I thought they might have went on to say, all right, each vendor, you work your area, and you ask the fans what they want, and you get your money there. But then again, what if people digital? I know Little Caesars, they don't do uh, Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. They don't do paper tickets no more. Everything is done digitally with your phone. So, you know, you know I don't know how they're going to do this, but I guess... Um, the NBA prepared to come back, so they got to figure that out. But you know, arena arena uh, employees have get money again, be pay, and have a job again, and I want to see how it's gonna work out. But you know, players gonna get the COVID, especially with you flying, and them sharing the same area. Gonna have some false positives. Well, that's a real positive test. So Adam Silver ready to get this money. And people got to understand, man. Money come first in a lot of people's lives. You know, but. I don't blame them, but let me know what you guys think about the NBA preparing to have fans in their arena for the tip-off, which is probably going to be December 22nd because the players caved again. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. you got a Facebook group link there as well, too. If you want to reach out for a video request or you got a business you want to advertise on the channel, I got you. All my links there. Other than that, appreciate it. Want to make a donation, best way to do that is share the video. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out the Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0 playlist. I mean, uh, channel. 
We'll be going live over there pretty soon. Appreciate the love support. Keep sharing the videos. We gone.